What's up, YouTube? We're back. It's your boy, Mad Stacker, and we're here to open up a bunch of silver. Hey guys, welcome back. That's right, got some unboxings to do today. Not sure what it all is, so let's just check it out. Alright, so this first piece is from Bold Precious Metals. I gotta be honest with you, I like this box, the way they shipped it. It's a cool little box. Oh, that's cool. They sent me a uh, sent me a tube there. Fun. All right, so we can get rid of that. All right. Oh, I know what this is. These are awesome. Oh, we gotta get this open like this. Well, kind of. I think that's enough. It is. All right. Lots of little packing stuff. Alright, let me grab a glove here. Trying to trying to treat the silver right. Alright, so these are some of the coolest rounds I think I've seen in a while. I picked up some of these. They went so fast at auction. But they were sold out. The first time I bought them, I bought as many as I could, and then they were sold out, so I was waiting checking all the different places and I finally found some more and they didn't have very many that time either so I grabbed what I could so this is a uh, Guns Up America in God We Trust and then on the back it's with what you would consider a breakaway so you can split that into two half ounces see it says half ounce on each side and it says half ounce over here on this side it's got a uh, Texas there with a star. I guess that's where they're located, maybe. A couple of pistols on there. It's got a little scratch on it. Either way, awesome, awesome pieces. And I picked up 10 of these bad boys, I think. One, two. Well, let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, picked up ten of those. So, that is pretty cool. We'll leave those in there for now. And I'll get the rest of that tape off later. Alright, let's see what else we got. Ooh, this is going to be fun. So, this... It's super weird. So... I've been picking up some stuff from the U.S. Mint, not to keep, but mostly for resale. And I have two different accounts. So when they have a household limit of one or three, I'll pick it up on both. And then, like, on one account, I'll get the item shipped. And on the other account, it's on hold. And then on a different item, the other account will ship, and the other item is on hold. So it's super weird doesn't make sense to me at all but that's how they roll I guess all right this is awesome so this is the 2021 American Eagle one ounce silver reverse reverse proof two coin set so let's check this out So uh, one is a W mint mark, one is an S mint mark. 
beautiful. Let's see if it says, I know there was a limit on these. I just don't know what it was. You think it would say it on here, but it doesn't. But look at these beauties. So of course this side is the same, but then you have type two there and type one there. So this is the W mint mark. This is an S mint mark. So I did, uh, these were limit one per household, so I did snag two of them, but this is the only one that's come in so far. I'll have to do some research on what these are going for. But uh, if you're interested in this, uh, come check me out at Oregon's on Sundays. Actually, this Sunday, I don't know if you'll see this video beforehand, but on Sunday, the first Sunday in October, Oregon's going to be out of town at a Rod Stewart concert. Don't tell them I told you. But uh, I'll be hosting the Sunday auction in his absence. Steve and Steve looking for silver and myself. So that'll be fun. Hope to see y'all there. See if we can get all this put back together. Well, we can just leave it like that for now. That's fine. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, so this is from SD. Let's see what's the best way that I'm going to get into this. Maybe right here. That seemed to work. Let's see if that's enough. Maybe not. No, definitely not enough. You know, can everybody just be all willy-nilly with their packaging like Atmex? Some of these guys actually box stuff up right. You know what I'm saying? Can't everybody just make it easy to steal? Thank you for your support of SD Bullion for God so love the world. That's their verse that they put on everything. John 316. SD bearing and supplies. I love that they uh hide that they're you know they don't put they don't advertise it for everybody out there, you know what I'm saying? So that is pretty awesome. Ooh, if these were what I think they are, I get to keep one of these, and I'm excited about that. Here we go. This will be my first. Well, this will be a couple firsts. It'll be my first uh, Perth Mint uh, Lunar Series. Let's see if we can get it better. There we go. So I guess this is technically a reverse proof. And this is the 2022. Year of the Tiger. Look at the details on that. So one of these is for me. That'll be going in my stack. And you know, once it goes in my stack, 
it never goes back. And the rest of these, I've got, it looks like seven more, will be available at auction. So, super excited to get one of these pieces. That's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. Let's see what else we got. We got one more package here. All right, so first things first, my second 2022 piece, Cook Island, $1. So this is also going to go in my stack. And you know once it goes in my stack, it never goes back. Yeah. So I did pick up uh, four extra of those for auction. And then I also came across these, which I just thought were super dope. And that is these anonymous pours. like the uh, seeing eye there like the one that's on the dollar bill I know it's got more meaning than that but it's the same one that's on the awakening coin anonymous pours three nines fine one ounce Troy man that is too cool I'm going to take that out and hold it Oh yeah, that's nice. Kind of, oh, there we go. Kind of burnished up a little bit. Man, that is a cool piece. And of course it comes with a uh, COA. Although the COA doesn't say what it is. So is that really a COA? Because I could technically stick that with anything. It doesn't say one ounce. It doesn't say what it is. It just says three nines fine silver but that's what they call certificate of authenticity so uh, who am I to argue with those guys so I picked these up for auction as well I had a very limited number of them so I was only able to pick up three but they are pretty awesome Looking forward to uh, sharing these with some folks. Good stuff. All right, guys. So this is we're gonna. This is a pretty lengthy video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this my Saturday morning premiere train video. Uh, shout out to Coin Crew, Stacks and Stuff, Wild West Stacker, Triple P, Will's Treasures, and the Wolf 56. Um, everybody did a great job as always. Uh, how about that combo uh, video between the Wolf 56 and Pistol Pack and Pilot today? That was pretty cool too. Uh, just awesome stuff. You guys make sure to get over and check out Trade Day on Everyday Opportunities channel. And if you're interested in any of this stuff, come join me here tomorrow. We'll be doing hosting the auction for Oregon Stackers. So look forward to seeing you guys there. Hope you can make it. Uh, despite all the craziness in this community, it is still the best community on YouTube. And for those of you that are doing the right things for the right reasons, I just want to say keep it up. I love you guys. Just try to get past all the craziness i know some people are stepping away from youtube over the current events and it just breaks my heart to see good people get run off by bad people because i think that means the bad people win but i'm going to continue to fight continue to do what's right and continue to 
try to make this community better one one day and one person at a time so keep up the great work guys and if you're new here do not worry about fitting in because we are all mad here Thank <laughs> you.